here we have a very happy couple. An AEM vibration board ready to go and a Raspberry Pi connected not by SPI, not the horrible SPI, the deadly SPI, but simply by an ordinary USB cable using UART. That is all ready to go. Here, we're looking at the PC connected via VNC to the Raspberry Pi over Wi-Fi. We're monitoring the core usage. We're about to execute the uh, harvesting program. We're monitoring disk space. And here we have another window where we can do stuff. And the stuff we're going to do is looking at the files. Okay, so here we go. Let's start it up and see what happens. Are you ready? This is very exciting. Believe me. Go. No password. A session started. Created up. Oh, we got, whoa, we created a lot of files. Oh, look at them all go. And now we can see the disk space is being used up. Watch that. 799. Oh, you see how we're using up disk space, but hardly hardly impacting memory. And we have all four cores are working furiously. And the board is flashing like crazy. It's really flashing. It won't focus. Uh, there we go. Look at it flash. Look at it flash. And here we can do a tail and see what we've written. Sorry. There's some data. Lots of data. Lots of data. Lots of data. Lots of accelerators. So we have this is we've now got data from the two ADCs and the three accelerometers. It's working fabulously. Look at the disk space being chewed right up. Watch it go. Watch it go down. We are 105.9.189, 105.9.090. Memory is steady and the boards are working. Boys and girls, this is a great day in the life of AEM and harvesting. If you were scared by this video, I'm sorry. If if you're in love with AEM boards, I'm also very, very sorry. Thank you.